Sam Marino is a hairdresser at the John McGarris Salon. Most of the time, you'll probably find him here cutting, curling, and styling. But what most people don't know about him is this. I have ADHD and I have mild autism when I was younger. I was always in special education classes. Marino tells us in middle school he was often bullied for being different. Now he spends much of his time outside of the salon volunteering at Life's Work, an organization that supports people who have developmental disabilities and autism. Taking these kids out in the community, helping them express what they feel, knowing that they can, and then getting them to do it, is the biggest achievement that I can think of. That very same organization sponsors an annual essay contest and gives out scholarships to high schoolers who are also hoping to tackle the issue of bullying. If you're looking for someone that shows empathy, that shows a desire to be an uh, upstanding citizen as a young age, and to really try to understand what these young folks with autism is go are going through. The essay requires students grades 9 through 12 to brainstorm ways that they can prevent developmentally disabled kids from becoming targets. According to a study referenced on StopBullying.gov, the rate is about twice as high as typical kids. Gilda Del Bianco, an essay contest winner from last year, tells us she thinks it's all about having an open dialogue both at home and at school. If you don't teach kids about tolerance in the classroom and in the household, like when they grow up, they're not going to be tolerant of these people because they just don't understand. Now the essay contest deadline is on May 3rd and after those essays are reviewed by a panel of judges, Life's Work will award monetary scholarships to the first, second and third prize winners. For now reporting in Huntington, Briella Tomasetti, Fios, One News.